Hi everyone, Morgan Hemps here with Lynn County Farm Bureau. I'm so excited to be visiting you virtually for another Ag in the Classroom lesson. Today we are going to learn about soil. What is soil? What do we use it for? What can we grow in soil? Is soil and dirt the same thing? Those are a few questions I would like you to brainstorm as a class before we get started. We also have a few videos for you to watch. We have a video that looks at antique tools and how we used to plow the soil compared to what we use today and the equipment and the tractors and how they have changed. I would like for you to watch those videos and read the story, John Deere, That's Who. This story is about John Deere. How many of you have heard of John Deere before? Raise your hand. John Deere was a real person. You might know John Deere based off of the tractors that we drive today, the green and yellow tractors you've maybe seen in the fields when you're on your way to school. John Deere is the person who created the John Deere company. Before he started to design tractors, he created the singing plow. The singing plow got its name because it would hum through the soil. This story takes you on a journey through John Deere's invention of the singing plow. This plow was able to move through the soil here in the Midwest a lot smoother compared to the tools that they were using before he invented this plow. As you are reading the story, I would like you to pay attention to the type of soil they are plowing through. Now, the word plow, what does that mean? What do you think this machine or this tool, this uh, piece of equipment, what do you think it does? This tool right here is going to help to move the soil, making way for new seeds to be planted. It's going to store up the soil to help make it easier to plant. Farmers will often plow their field to create a nice bed for their seeds to lay. In the story, John Deere moved from the east to the midwest. The soil in the east was a lot different than the soil here in the Midwest. Here in the Midwest, we had prairie grasses, the grasses that were so tall and thick and luscious that they had to plow the soil, helping to uh, uproot those prairie grasses so that they could plant corn and soybeans, wheat, oats, and things like that. The soil in the East was more sandy. If you've noticed, if you go to the beach, what does the sand look like? How does it compare to the soil you see here in Iowa? When you hold out your hands, I would like you to hold out your hands. If you had sand in your hands, what would it feel like? Now, if you were to go outside and make a mud pie, what would a mud pie feel like? We have different types of soil all over the United States, but we even have different types of soil here in Iowa. Where you are at school might be a different type of soil than I have here next to our office. Soil can come in lots of different textures and colors. We call the different types of soil soil particles. Some of those different soil samples might include sand, silt, clay. Maybe we might see large rocks. We might see smaller pebbles. Soil can be lots of different sizes, shapes, and colors. So today's activity, you are going to be painting with soil. We read about the different types of soil in our story, John Deere, that's who, and how he used a plow to move the soil here in the Midwest. So soil, just like in our story, can come in lots of different shapes and colors. So we are going to make soil paint using two different kinds of soil. These soils actually came from Utah. We have a dark brown soil and a light tan soil. So you notice these two came from the same state, but they look very different. We can even find different soil in different states. To make our soil paint, you will need your John Deere Singing Plow coloring sheet, glue, water, a plate to help keep your paint uh, away from your uh, from being spilled onto your desk, popsicle sticks, a Q-tip or a paintbrush, and your soil paint recipe. 
If you did not receive one of our kits, you can collect soil samples from your backyard and maybe go uh, in two different locations in your backyard and see if they are similar or different. To make our soil paint, we are going to add some glue. You can just uh, estimate with this, but you want about a tablespoon of glue. Next, we are going to add just a splash of water to our paint. A little bit goes a long way and you can always add more. You want this to be the consistency of paint. Mix it with your popsicle stick. Be sure to put your popsicle stick back on your plate so you don't make a mess on your desk. And then we're going to mix this tan paint. You'll notice this one's a little bit thicker. This might be more similar to the soil from our story, which he called gumbo because it was sticky and more of a clay soil versus the black soil was more of a sandy soil, more loose, not as thick. Okay, our John Deere singing plow is right here on this sheet and it was made of steel which was smooth and would slice through the soil like a knife through butter, meaning it was a lot smoother moving it uh, through the thick uh, clay soil here in the Midwest compared to the old iron steel which had bumpy ridges on it and the uh, iron steel worked a lot better in uh, the east where it was sandy soil. Okay we have two q-tips. You'll notice that your q-tip has two sides to it meaning you have a paintbrush on both sides. So if you want to share paint with those around you, if your teacher says it's okay, you have two sides to use. Make sure you write your name on your sheet so that way you can tell it from your friends. Okay, let's go ahead and start painting. So you can just put the paint right over your coloring sheet. Let's try painting with the tan. You'll notice even spreading it onto the coloring sheet, it's a little bit of a different texture. And texture is the word we use when we talk about what it feels like. So we have different colors, different textures, different uh, thickness. You can go ahead and finish coloring your John Deere singing plow and put it somewhere to dry. Thank you for watching and participating in our soil paint activity. Hopefully you had fun learning about the different types of soil, how it can be different colors and shapes and textures, and how the singing plow changed agriculture. John Deere was a very influential person in agriculture and helped to uh, grow uh, the Midwest farming that we see today. Without soil, we wouldn't be able to produce the food that we eat every day. Soil is needed to plant all of the seeds for wheat and corn and soybeans, apple trees and strawberries, cucumbers and peppers, tomatoes. There would be no pizza without soil. We wouldn't even have ice cream without soil because grass grows in soil and dairy cows like to eat grass. So thank you everyone for participating and I can't wait to visit you virtually next month.